going on today guys today i'm going to be doing a modding guide on the red dragon t617 fizz keyboard for any of the products that i use in today's video all the links will be in the description and let's get to the video all right guys so the products that you're going to need for this build are you're going to need the keyboard you're going to need uh any type of scissors that you can have uh, you're going to need some EVA foam, any painter's tip, you can get this from any craft store or Amazon. Uh, you're going to need a switch puller. This is not really the best, but this is what came with the keyboard. Came with the keyboard. Um, you're going to need a um, cap puller, any screwdriver, and you're going to need any of your switches that will fit in these slots. So either the Akko switches fit or Holy Pandas. So those are the only two switches that you can put in here. I believe C3 Tangerines as well you can put in them. Um, but for the most part, Akko switches do go into this keyboard. So without further ado, let's start the mod. Alright guys, so now we are going to remove all of these keycaps. So grab your keycap puller and then you're going to remove all of these keycaps. And then once you removed your keycaps, you're gonna take your switch puller, whichever switch puller you have, and remove all of these switches. So let's get all those keycaps off. Here we go. So once you have all of the keycaps removed, now we are going to remove all these switches. Now, obviously the switches will take some time, so I'm gonna cut out the part of taking out the switches. And then once all the switches are out, then we're going to move on to the tape mod. All right guys, so now once you have all of these switches out, out of the PCB, now you are going to unscrew the PCB and now we are going to use the tape to tape the back of the PCB. All right guys, so now once you have all of these screws removed from the plate, now we are going to remove the plate and PCB from the actual case of the board and then we're going to tape mod it. Alright guys, so now we have the entire keyboard screwed in and now we're going to get our switches. So the switches that I have chosen are the Akko CS Matcha Greens um, and I have two of these so now we're going to put in the switches. Alright guys, so now we have all of these switches here, all of the Akko CS Matcha Greens. So these are a linear switch, uh, I don't know if there's a camera going to pick it up, but they are really nice, really smooth and I don't know if you can hear it but they're like really, really quiet. Um, so now we are gonna put each of the switches in. So as you can see right here, this is a Altemu slot, right? And we're gonna put the switch right in. The plate. show you the final product.
guys. So now once you have all of these switches in, now just grab your keycaps and now put the keycaps and let's check it out. All right guys, so this is the before and after sound test. So here's what the keyboard sounded like before. And that's what it sounded like before. All right, so here is the sound test. And that's how it sounds like now so guys if you enjoyed that video make sure to give me a like subscribe and uh, turn your notifications on for more videos obviously this is my first custom keyboard and honestly to be honest this is actually one of the like I mean this is amazing like I came from a membrane keyboard and now to owning this I mean this is just honestly amazing so it would really you know mean a lot to me guys if you you know liked and subscribed so make sure to do that and uh see you again later